Many marketing teams work by flinging ideas around like spaghetti on a wall and see what sticks. That didn't stick. I gotta clean that up after. If you feel like that, stop because Giolotti and Claire Sawdrop are here to the rescue. We, they have a book called Forget the Funnel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you some valuable insights, the three phases of the customer-led growth that will help you achieve sustainable, predictable, and long-term growth. Let's jump in. The first phase is getting inside your best customer's heads. The key here is to dig deeper into your customer's psyche, uncover their struggles, their anxieties, their motivation, their aha moments, and their desired outcomes. And I'm sure it's tempting to skip this step because sure, you already probably know who your customers are and you need to deliver those results yesterday. Why would you waste your time talking to your customers? Well, Gia explained the benefits of not skipping this phase. So a lot of the cause for the chaos um, is definitely that you're guessing, right? And you're trying to see what is going to work here and what is going to land. You can make a lot more focused decisions and at least eliminate a lot of the options and have a, a decent picture of what good looks like if you do learn from your best customers. Okay, so what does this mean? Let's put on our detective hat and let's start investigating. Now you got two options. You can do surveys and user interviews. They are your best friends here. Now, trust me, you'll discover things that might even surprise you, like why your customers chose you and hit, it might not be what you think it is. Remember the goal here isn't to take your customers' words at face value. Instead, you need to peel back the layers to find the underlying psychology behind their actions and desires, which is a true marketing power-up. Speaking of power-ups, before I share the next two phases of the framework in this book, Forget the Funnel, I wanna talk about my newsletter. I've been researching how the brightest minds in marketing like G and Claire I really consistently win. And I share those best insights for free in my marketing newsletter, Marketing Powerups. You can join now at marketingpowerups.com and you'll instantly unlock the three best powerups to level up your marketing. Second is about mapping and measuring your customer experience. Now that you're inside your customer's heads, let's map out their experience. Now you imagine you're exploring and charting the vast unknown territory of your customer's journey. You can pull out your telescope check out where everything is if you look through the customer journey telescope you'll see that there are three main phases first is the struggle phase it's that wild west out there and your customer realizes they have a problem and they need to start looking for a solution but you really are there to help them with this to navigate that bumpy terrain second is the evaluation phase that's when your customer is in, is in the goldilocks phase and they're trying to figure out what your product is and deciding if it's the right fit for them. This phase is all about like a game show where trying to weigh out their options and making the all important decision to choose you. The third phase is the growth phase. Your customer has struck gold and they've successfully navigated your product and they've integrated it into their daily life. They might even use it in new and unexpected ways. It's like they've discovered a new hidden talent and you're their proud coach, cheering them on from the sidelines. But wait, there's more. You'll also want to identify the milestones for each of those three phases that I just talked about in that journey map so that you know if you're on the right track with these people. Think about this as like checkpoints on your customer journey, ensuring that they stay on the path and don't veer off away from what you want. For example, during the struggle phase, you might measure how many potential customers are visiting your website or engaging with your content. And then in the evaluation phase, you can try free trials, signups, or product demo requests. And in the growth phase, you might keep an eye on customer retention rates, upselling, and referrals. So by tracking these KPIs assigned to those three stages of the customer journey, you'll have a clear vision of your customer's experience and how to keep moving them forward to the journey. Remember that the journey is as important as the destination. So make sure you're giving your customers the VIP treatment every step of the way. Now, the third phase is to unlock your biggest growth opportunity. And you want to think about this as finding the keys to the marketing kingdom. To do this, you need to identify your customers' success gaps and bridge them. This will help you align your team's efforts and transform those customers into high lifetime value champions. So here's an example of the results of the customer-led growth framework as described by Gia. Another example that I love is the Meet Edgar example. 
We updated three pages on their website, only three, their homepage, their features page, and their pricing page, and increased signups by 89%. But my favorite part of the story and why I tell it is because the trial to pay conversion rate also increased 40% mm. and we didn't touch anything off the website. Once you've identified and addressed the success gaps, you'll be able to bring the team together and work towards a common goal. It's like forming a superhero team. Each of the members in your team is bringing unique strengths to the table, united in a quest for customer success and business growth like the Avengers. <laughs> And with your newfound clarity, you can focus on what really matters, making your customer's life so much better and achieving your ambitious revenue targets. And here you have it, folks. This is the three-phase customer-led growth framework as described in this amazing book that I suggest you get right now. It's like a treasure map that will guide you through the stormy seas of marketing chaos and lead you to the shores of revenue growth. <laughs> Another place in marketing that you can use valuable insight from this framework that you can read in this book is about creating more useful and needle moving buyer personas. I share the five tips to do just that in the video right here or in the comments below. I'll see you in that video. See you there.